the game is positive reinforcement, which is not the game that we've been playing with most of our coaches and uh, a lot of the authorities in the world. It's like a lot of negative reinforcement. I know you've had this experience, right? And like in sports. <clears throat> let's like, let's guilt ourselves and scold ourselves if we mess up so that hopefully that makes us not mess up next time. And as we're scolding and guilting ourselves, we tighten up even further <laughs> and we're distracted by the act of scolding and guilting ourselves. So it makes us more likely to mess up again. And ultimately, the more you scold and guilt yourself for messing up, the more you're going to continue messing up because you're reinforcing something that you don't want. You're feeding energy to something that you don't want. And just like last night, we were talking about like, don't feed realities you don't want to live. The game is positive reinforcement in that the more you celebrate the things that you do right, we talked about like savoring the meal, cultivating good feeling as you're eating this like, you know, Sean cooks last night, this, this it was my favorite meal of the week and you're eating it and actually tasting it and enjoying it that's a way different feeling than just kind of like getting it done, you know, okay, dinner, dinner, uh, eat that, like, <laughs> is that what you were doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so the same thing applies in, in meditation. The more you really savor and, and sort of, um, well, savor the positive sensation, the more that it's going to grow. And the more that you celebrate and sort of, um, internally, uh, I, I don't mean like a, you take 10 seconds to like congratulate yourself or anything, but you just get like, give yourself good feeling for noticing that your mind's wandered and bringing it back. The more your mind is actually going to come back to focus and keep continue doing that more and more. And so it's this upward positive spiral. And that's not to say that there's absolutely no space for negative reinforcement at all. But in my opinion, anyway, it's like two to 5% of the time and only if absolutely needed. Like if I continue doing something that's wrong, maybe I take a moment and check myself and like, hey, <laughs> get it together here. But even then I'm not sitting there stewing in it. I'm just saying, okay, let's get it together. And then when I do it right, I celebrate that and start the momentum back upwards. So positive reinforcement is the game, regardless of what your coaches might tell you. <laughs> it's just, uh, well, I'll put it one other way. Anybody who's been in a, you know, in your relationship with your, your now wife or anybody that's been in a, a relationship with somebody, if you continue getting on them because they're doing something you don't like, how many times has it actually worked to change their behavior? I, I joked with this guy, hey, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even want to tell this story. He's yeah. like, I, I think that this guy was like trying to get his, his, this girl he was seeing to lose weight. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and he was describing to me how he was doing it and he's just like he's like yeah I told her she was fat and she should go to the gym <laughs> I was like I was like man guys are dicks <laughs> yeah um, what? no <laughs> they broke up <laughs> he's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right there. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what? I, I don't know. But that did, that relationship did not last. And I was like, dude, that, that's worked exactly zero times for any man ever. Like zero times. Uh, but <laughs> what he could have done maybe is like started exercising with her and said, oh man, it feels so good to exercise with you. Like, I love this. I love that we can do this together. Which one do you think is going to work better? <laughs> <The latter. laughs> right. So the game is positive reinforcement. 
in with yourself, with other people, in relationships, um, and in meditation. So savor the good feeling, <laughs> reinforce the positive, and everything will be not only like way more enjoyable <laughs> and life will just literally be better, but you're actually going to get far better results. Whereas with negative reinforcement, it's often zero results or you get worse. Hey, it's Taylor. I hope you enjoyed today's talk. And if you did, the best thing to do right now while it's fresh in your mind is head over to deepgame.com and join us in our free masterclass where you'll learn all of the fundamental principles of the part of basketball that's played with the mind. We've had players call this the best hour of basketball learning of their lives, and it's completely free right now. So head over to deepgame.com, join us. Once again, it's totally free, and I will see you there.